You okay, Riku? Not Riku. I'm a fake. I can't remember why I was created or where or when. All that's inside of me is time with you and Namine. But I know those memories are not real. Gee, Namine, can't you use your magic to put Riku's memory back to normal? Well, I... It's all right. I'll deal. Wait! Who cares if someone created you? You are you and nobody else. You have your own heart inside you. Those feelings and memories are yours and yours alone. They're special. Sora, you're a good guy. I don't have to be real to see how real your feelings are. That's good enough. Hello everyone and welcome back to Missile Dine Online, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, Riku's Story on Proud Mode. This is episode 10 or so, I believe. In the last episode, we defeated Lexius, one of the members of Organization 13. Technically, Ansem took control of us and killed Lexius. At the same time that we were fighting Lexius, Sora was fighting Marluxia. So that means Larxene, Vexen, Marluxia, and Lexius are now all dead. So the Organization 13 is now down four members, so there's only nine left. All right, let's continue through the door. Zexion gave us the last world card that we have currently, which is Destiny Islands. We're going home, baby. Going home, baby booze. I never thought I'd miss the island wind so much. <laughs> There's a time I couldn't wait to get off this rock. And now I'm acting all relieved. Is that... Hey! It's Titus, Waka, and Selfie! We haven't seen them since... since Well, I guess technically since we streamed Final Fantasy X, but we didn't really see... Selfie. We haven't seen them since Kingdom Hearts 1! What's with you guys? I don't think I've ever seen the three of you so quiet. What? Is there something on my face? Guys! Oh, dude, they ain't even... They ain't even real, Riku! He should know by now. And we get the Key of Beginnings card, and we are here in Destiny Islands. It is good to be home, friendos. It is good to be home. I just, something about Destiny Islands for me feels very comforting. Like, I feel, I feel very young and happy. I don't know, maybe it's the music, maybe it's, it's Kingdom Hearts, you know? I don't know. So let's go ahead and take a look at our deck. You will see that this deck is massive. Massive! However, look at how low it is. This is a terrible, terrible deck. But, actually, what they just did is they made it... So easy and useful to use the Lexius card. Obliterate enemies with the finishing blow of a combo with a high success rate. It is a very high success rate. Lexius is a super powerful card for defeating uh, minions and, and Heartless that you will encounter. So we will be using that. In fact, I'm going to get into a battle real quick and just show you how useful this deck can be if used appropriately. So we'll do that and then we will literally just slate. And everything will, for the most part, die. See? Just like that. So even though we, our highest card when we uh, separately is an 8 and only one of them, we can literally do this non-stop and just keep destroying all of these, all of these Heartless and we don't even have to, we don't even have to worry about it. So this makes it actually very useful and then we will enter Darkness which is actually, which is actually uh, less useful to be honest with you, uh, but that's okay, we can still do this. So, Dark Mode is not actually that useful in this world, um, just because of the way the world is, but you do have that Potion card, which means 
that's really good. Uh, that potion card is going to allow you to recover all of the cards that you use in slates. So you will be able to, as you just saw, pretty much be able to defeat things a lot faster than you could before. Now, I actually also wanted to show you that off screen, I got a few levels and we are sitting pretty at level 45. So as always, I'm going to clear, clear, clear the room. All right. Well, uh, I was going to say this. You'll notice that this world actually isn't that big. And it is worth mentioning, of course, that we are on the third floor of, of Castle Oblivion, which is pretty huge. It doesn't totally matter what cards you use either here. Um, honestly, you could use an Almighty Darkness if you really wanted to, just because we are using so many slates that no enemy we fight is going to be able to break us. Everything is mostly going to be using... Uh, the highest card I think we'll see is probably like an 8. An 8 on Almighty Darkness is probably the highest card you'll see. So there are definitely better areas to level up in this game coming up, especially now that we have the Lexius card. It is worth mentioning too that the Lexius card actually is the quickest way to level with uh, with Riku. Destiny Islands is wonderful to do it in. Um, I've heard that other people don't like Destiny Islands, but honestly, I'm just gonna show you guys. Uh, so we'll use that and then we'll just... And if you position right, and you're lucky enough to get that, you will literally chew through these so quick as I just, I think I just pretty, pretty, uh, you know what I mean? Like, look, look at how quickly. So you're just basically mashing the triangle button. Look at how quick I can just destroy everything. That fight was, took nothing. And, and our deck is not good. You know what I mean? Not comparatively to things like Halloween Town, where it does look like you have a stronger deck. And you do, and you could. But honestly, things are going to give you so much more experience here in Destiny Islands, even though Halloween Town's great, and things are going to give you so much experience later on down the road. So we're actually going to go ahead and use this room, uh, ooh, uh, just because I think that's fine. Uh, we're going to be kind of hurrying to the end of uh, end of this world, just because I think that's a good idea. So we'll go ahead and use the Bottomless Darkness. As you can tell, I'm kind of saving uh, some cards for later. Um, because I do think that having our green cards will be a good idea for later worlds, so I want to make sure we have those now. Um, we could avoid fight fights if we totally want to. Alright, we're just going to continue running past all of these Heartless, just so we can use this next door, uh, which I believe a, we need a 3 or higher. Let's go ahead and use a uh, Stagnant Space, because it doesn't totally matter. We could use Lasting Days, we could use Strong Initiative, we could use whatever... You know what? Let's use Mingling Worlds, just because, just because I think it's cool. That's it. That's, that's the only reason. I just think it's cool. Okay. We got a black room. Well, that's that's a crappy room to get. All right, let's go ahead and use this door, just so we don't have to deal with those. Uh, Where are we? Let's see where we are. Okay, so let's see if we can go ahead and use a moment's reprieve here. Just so, just in case. You know what I mean? Just, just throw it out there, just in case we need something. All right, and now we have this door left. Let's see what the requirements are. I feel like, all right, so we need uh, a seven or higher. Perfect. Uh, let's go ahead and actually use, hmm, hmm, hmm. What do I want? What do I want? Uh, meeting ground. Oh, we have two level nine meeting ground. So let's go ahead and use that. And then we will use our key to beginnings and be prepared for a boss fight as always, folks, as always. Kyrie. Hey, Kyrie, are you? Not real. Ah. Uh, no. Surely you knew this would happen. <gasps> You've been to a number of worlds in your memory before this one. And in those worlds, you met only dark beings. That's all that's left in your heart. Dark memories. Your memories of home are gone, each and every one. That's a lie! I remember everyone from the islands. Tidus and Selfie and Waka, Kyrie and Sora, too. They're my, my... My closest friends. And who threw away those friends? Maybe it's your own actions that you've forgotten. You destroyed your home! This is... that night! 
All of the islands you grew up on were sundered, scattered. Many hearts were forever lost to the darkness. Because of what you did! <clears throat> you hated being an islander, so you opened the door to darkness and destroyed the islands. It was you! You were pulled into the darkness then, and now you belong to the darkness. You should look. Look at what you truly are! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We are going to be fighting none other than Darkseid. Darkseid, but not the super powerful one from, from, from comic books. This one, this, this can't be who I really am. No, man, you ain't darkness. You're better than that. All right, so we are gonna go ahead, watch out for this. Uh, now, it's not totally actually worth using, um, uh, uh, Lexius here because he's not actually going to be able to do anything slates though will be super important if you so want it So we're gonna use a gimmick card here uh, mostly because I actually forgot what it did uh, Oh, oh this will create the pillars that we need. Okay, so now we can use these As soon as I can actually get up here, and we then we can jump on his face and start attacking him Okay, that wasn't quite what I was supposed to do. I'm pretty sure I could have just stood there. Oh, oh wait 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 Let's grab this uh, let's see if we can duel. All right. Can we break him? Can we break him? I think we can. 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 We'll hit him with Barrage. Let's see if that will actually... Uh, well, that didn't do anything. That didn't do anything at all. Now did it. All right, we'll go ahead and break him yet again. All right, so we're going to see if... This fight is really, really easy. We just dodge that. And then... Oh, oh, oh. Not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. Now we just got to dodge all this. We could break him if we so chose here. Uh, probably not totally worth it to use a duel here, but but that's okay. Uh, we can do it anyways because because I'm a man and, and men do what they want to do. Uh, Alright, so we, we were able to hit him a little bit. Duels are absolutely, of course, not worth it uh, as you can as you can tell. I don't know I don't know what to do. We're gonna use Dark Fiber Go again just because I know that it will do uh, some damage. And then, you know what I'm thinking? I'm actually thinking that we do this. And then we'll see if that actually will hit him at all. I don't think it will. No, it didn't. All right, we'll go ahead and use that break him yet again. This fight is so long. This was this was a weird fight, man. Uh, and I could potentially be doing it wrong, to be honest with you. Uh, but we will destroy Darkseid. Down he goes. That took that took longer than I than I anticipated. Uh, but it, again, it's just not a hard fight. It's just kind of long. And we leveled up. Is that level 46, I think? And we get the dark side card. Uh, let's put it into our DP, of course. We are now at 32 darkness points. That's crazy. Sora! Sora! Alright, so before we continue on, we want to turn around and actually use this door to create a moment's reprieve before we go talk to Sora. I think... I think that's a good, a good call, man. Great. Let's go ahead and save real quick, and then we'll go back and talk to Sora. Alright, so it is worth mentioning that during that fight with Darkseid, I could have been focused on killing the, uh, the adds that he summoned in, the shadows. If I would have done that, I would have got more gimmick cards, and we could have stood on the pillar and attacked his face, and he would have died a lot faster. Uh, just worth mentioning. I, I just d didn't think of that. All right, let's talk to Sora. Sora, it's me. Oh, what? Stop it, Sora. Don't you recognize me? Yeah, I recognize you. I can see exactly what you've become. 
How can the light hurt you? Riku, have you really become a creature of the dark? You're not Riku anymore. You're just a pawn of the darkness. So be it. It's time for you to face the light! I'm... fading. Fading away. Into the light. You won't fade. You can't fade. There's no power that can defeat you. Not the light. Not the dark. So don't run from the light. And don't fear the darkness. Because both will make you stronger. Make me stronger? Darkness too? Yeah. Strength that's yours. The darkness inside your heart, it's vast and it's deep. But if you can, truly stare into it and never try to look away. You won't be afraid of anything again. All this time I've tried to push the darkness away. You've got to just remember to be brave. Know that the darkness is there and don't give in. If you do that, you will gain strength. The kind that's unlike any other. You'll be able to escape the deepest darkness. And I'll be able to see through the brightest light. Follow the darkness. It'll show you the way to your friends. Can I face them? You don't want to? You know I do. Of course. And I will. With my strength. My dark strength. Darkness! <laughs> Impossible! How is it that you found me, when you were there in the light? You reek of darkness. Even the light can't block the smell. <gasps> I guess I followed the darkness right to you. This is absurd. Then I shall make you see that your hopes are nothing, nothing but a mere illusion. And we are now going to fight Zexion, one of the last members of Organization 13 that we get to face off against. He is the master of illusion. We will be able to defeat him. And because of Riku, we are now in permanent, permanent dark mode. Can you believe that? All right, so we are going to, he's going to steal cards from us. That's going to be the big thing that he does over and over and over and over and over again. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead, switch to our Genie Jafar card right away, and then we want to see if we can actually get out of this. We need to get out of that Cyclone Smash as fast as we can uh, just by mashing the uh, dodge roll button just so that he doesn't, he's not able to do that to us. Uh, and then we will actually, oh, he stole so many cards from us right there. All right, and then we will just lay into him yet again. Uh, we wanna see if we can actually get as many uh, attacks on him as possible. Using our slates is a reasonable thing to do, I, I would say. Uh, now we wanna go ahead and just see if we can lay into him yet again. Now he's going to use, uh, he's going to try to use this. Um, we're actually going to wait with the zero card, perfect. And we were able to go ahead and break him. Now we're going to uh, switch to our... Oh, oh, oh. I want to... Oh, God, this is bad. I want to switch to... All right, we'll go ahead and use that just to break him. All right, we're going to use Dark Break yet again. Just because that does do so much damage. And now we want to go ahead and switch. Uh, let's see. Use Dark Break yet again? Okay, that didn't really work. All right, so he does have enough cards. 
which means that he can do a tremendous amount of damage against us, which is not something we want to deal with at all. Uh, so we're just going to keep breaking these books as much as we can, um, which will allow us to actually, hopefully... Okay, we'll get some cards back, My, uh, I'm hoping. Okay, perfect. Perfect, babies. And then we get all of our cards back. And then we can just lay into him yet again. Uh, all right, we actually don't even know where he is, apparently. Okay, now we do. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, come on. Come on, use this. There we go. And then we will go ahead and use Dark Break. Ah, uh, this is not good. This is not good. Come on. Come on. And Dark Fiber got... Will that be enough to kill him? Nope. Get out of that, get out of that. Come on, come on, Riku, you got this. Just keep using that dodge roll, we got this. Oh, man. Oh, this is so tough. Okay. And down goes Zexion. We had to end up using a Dark Fyruga right there at the end. This is a very complicated fight that I can't really explain why I'm fighting. And we leveled up. That permanent dark mode, though, imagine if we had that all the time, and we get the Zexian card. The Zexian enemy card. Uh, obviously, we're going to put that into our attack points. Level 47. After all your protests, you're still like us on the side of darkness. I know who I am. When did that happen? You were always terrified of the dark before. Not anymore! <gasps> the answer is no, we didn't kill him. So the fight with Zexion is kind of hard to explain, so while we're while we're taking this time to save, I'm going to try to explain it the best way that I can. So uh, obviously he's going to attempt to steal cards from you the entire time. That's using Cyclone Snatch. He'll make a tornado in the center of the area that can steal your cards. To dodge it, you just keep dashing away. It's a really hard attack to dodge. Um, uh, to to card break, so I would just uh, recommend just using your square button just to get away from it. Then he has clone combo. If he gets enough of your cards, he'll actually make two clones, which we saw, and he'll combo attack you, uh, and you just have to try to get away from it. And then he has HP drain. He'll grab you, and then he'll start draining your HP and restoring his own. Again, dodge roll can be your best bet, and then try beam. Uh, can't be can't be dodged. You have to card break it. It's super hard, super hard to card break. Um, so the best thing to deal with Zexion is to not let him steal your cards to begin with. That means hitting him with super powerful slates. That means just uh, using your Genie Jafar card so he can't break you and just giving him combos to the face. All of that is stuff that you absolutely want to be able to do to even try to stand a chance against Zexion. He is very, very hard. Uh, but I, I guess he's not as hard as other... Like, Lexius was harder. You know what I mean? Zexion is a weird fight because we've never fought something like that before. Now, I'm actually going to be skipping a lot of fights here uh, because I would... Oh, uh, I would like to just be able to get to um, the champion's, champion's respite uh, as quickly as we could. As quickly as we can. Uh, what do I want to use here? A roulette card? No. I'm going to use a meeting ground, level 8. Uh, and then the next room that I'm going to use is going to be a zero card just to get through. Um, there's no real need, I don't think, anyways, to fight here. You could fight to level 50 or so, but like I said before, I just think there's going to be better, better opportunities for experience later on. And we're already at a pretty high level, so I wouldn't really... It's not a huge deal. So Conqueror's Respite. We'll just climb our way out of here. Destiny Islands, man. Already, already pretty much done. Now, you could save if you wanted, but I don't think we have a problem. And obviously nothing is waiting for us here on the third floor exit hall, so let's go ahead and continue to the second floor. What 
is he? No one's ever won the darkness the way that he does. It's impossible. <sighs> Yes, the replica, of course. We can use this Riku to defeat the real one. Axel? Wouldn't you like to be real? All you need is the kind of power that the real Riku doesn't have. If you can get that, you can be a new person, not Riku, nor anybody else. You won't just be a copy of someone, you will be unique. Your own self. Axel! What are you saying to him? You know, he's as good a place to start as any. You can't do this! No! 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 So sorry, Zexion. <laughs> you just found out way too much. Riku. Riku. Who's there? I know you can feel it. The grip that I have on your heart. <gasps> you have led in the darkness, Riku. That means very soon your heart shall become an all-consuming darkness. I'm not like that now. Yes, you are. <laughs> can't move the deeper the darkness runs inside you the stronger I become controlling you is effortless <laughs> must you interfere again Sure glad I made it in time. <laughs> that ought to keep Ansem busy for a while. Huh? Sorry I couldn't come here sooner, Riku. Your Majesty, is it you? Uh-huh. Whoa! <laughs> that tickles! <laughs> this time, you're not an illusion. I'm so glad that you can make it here. I made a promise to you that I would find a way, didn't I? Oh. Ah, uh, I'm okay. Don't worry. Guess I'm just relieved. I've... I've been alone so long. And having someone else around is... That's a little... Overwhelming. But, uh, how did you make it here? I thought it was too far. I found a card to help me. I needed a way out of the realm of darkness. And then suddenly this card appeared right in front of me. When I picked it up, I could see your heart beyond the darkness. That's what let me find you. I guess the card thought its place was to be with you. Maybe you are right. Twilight Town. Oh my god, we get the card to Twilight Town. What's Twilight Town, you ask? What a great question. Find out in Kingdom Hearts 2. Final mix. All right, so Mickey's here. The real Mickey. The alive Mickey. Let's go ahead and talk to him. The power of light should keep Ansem. Hang on. Hang on. Let's try this again. Oh! The power of light should keep Ansem locked up for a while. That was really, really bad. But you know what? I tried it, and I don't have any regrets. So it looks like Mickey is here to help us get to the very end of Castle Oblivion. Zexion is dead, uh, or at least absorbed by Dark R Riku. And it seems, it seems that, that Axel is 
up to something. We'll figure it out next time. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a like. And appearing on screen right now is the playlist for Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memory Sora Story, as well as a video that YouTube has chosen specifically for you, viewer, as well as a Patreon button. If you want to support the stream, you can go there, hit that button, and, uh, and, and, and you, for a dollar a month, you get early access to videos. So get that. Never give up. Never surrender to the darkness. Okay. Bye.